Guess what? I finally caved. I signed up for HelloFresh and I'll let you guys know what I think about it after a week. If you didn't know already, HelloFresh is a meal subscription service that delivers pre-packaged ingredients along with recipes that you choose to your door. You've probably heard of them from sponsored content and a lot of advertisements everywhere. Even though I have people very close to me that have tried it and also said good things about it, I've never really considered trying it. I don't have a crazy lifestyle that requires groceries to be delivered to me but recently I've been feeling so sick of my own cooking nothing tastes good and I'm just so tired of trying to figure out what to cook every week and then I thought of the HelloFresh promo code that my friend sent me. With the promo code, it will only cost me $30 for three two-people meals. And I heard the portions are pretty good, so we'll see if we'll be able to eat more than three meals with those. I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to try out new recipes and try out food that I've never cooked before. On their website, you can choose the recipes that you will want to make for the week. It's very easy and they try to label the recipes that are vegan, spicy, and they also include calories and list all the ingredients that you will be putting in the recipe. So if you have any dietary restrictions, they made it very easy. For our first week, we're trying the Thai coconut pork meatballs, soy mustard salmon, and the red hot cheddar turkey burgers. Personally, I'm very excited about the turkey burgers because I've been craving burgers for a long time. But honestly, I think the recipes for the next few weeks are way better. So we'll see how this week goes. The ingredients for all three recipes will deliver in one box. So make sure you have enough fridge space when your box arrives. And my box arrives today, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit when I unbox it. Here we go. It's pretty heavy, so let's unbox it upstairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our package arrived at 410 today, and now we're gonna unbox it. Pretty nice packaging. Cheddar turkey burgers, Thai coconut pork meatballs, and then the teriyaki ginger salmon. This is ice. Ground turkey for burgers, probably. This is the salmon. Okay. Uh -huh. It looks a little sad. At least they're still cold. This is ground pork, yep. probably for today. Starting with one of the Hall of Fame recipes. That means it's one of their best. Mm -hmm. Meet one of our all-stars. Okay, let's start cooking then. Let's try it so we can eat. <laughs> this is our first recipe. Mm. Tastes like a turkey meatball. <laughs> the rice is flipping good though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I heard the proportion is really good. Like five feet more than two? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, we have leftovers. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> this ball is good. Mm -hmm. I like the sauce too. Yes, such a simple sauce, but so good. Mm -hmm. And we have both things at home. Mm -hmm. So now we know how to make it. Mm -hmm. 
it's like sweet that, chili. Mm -hmm, that Thai chili sauce, which I have. And then we also have coconut milk. I'm very satisfied with the recipe. It's exactly what I expect. Um, it's easy to follow and it didn't take us long. I didn't, I forgot to use the timer, but I don't think it took us longer than suggested. So that was good. Cause usually recipes, we always take longer. Um, and it tastes really good. And yeah, I'm glad I learned a new recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the only thing we'll see if this is filling enough for both of us. <laughs> Mm. And I think the quantity for the veggies is good too. So, yep. That's all I have to say. <clears throat> Sorry I was munching while <laughs> your first impressions. <laughs>recipe was on point. I just don't think it's enough food though. Mm -hmm. This one for sure you're not enough. How's your piece of salmon? Really good. In fact, I thought it would be slightly undercooked. I normally don't cook with this skin on. The sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. Well, they gave us the teriyaki sauce, so we still don't know how to make that. <laughs> Guess we could just buy teriyaki sauce. <laughs> but the pickle part is good because mm -hmm. I like sours. The sour taste. <laughs> For sure, need a meal part two though. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't have any carrots? I have one. Don't worry. Only one? It's a pretty legit teriyaki sauce. <laughs>
But it's either mm-hmm. this or they do takeouts. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so of course if it's between those two then yeah, at least you get some fresh food and you're you learn to cook then that'd be much better. But overall the recipes are pretty easy and it's pretty easy to cook and it was fun cooking. And even though we had to film every single process, it still wasn't that bad for the amount of cooking and filming that we did. Overall, I like HelloFresh. It was a lot of fun trying these recipes and just like cook something different than what we normally cooked. I think a lot of people like HelloFresh because of the pre-portioned ingredients. It helps them save a lot of time and trips to the grocery store. But for me, that's not really why I would choose HelloFresh. For me, I would choose HelloFresh because it's just a fun activity to do with the family. And at the same time, you get to eat really good food. The recipe cards are very easy to understand. Me and Andrew just kind of divide and conquer the recipes. The main deciding factor for me is actually the price. So without the promo code, it would actually cost us about the same as if we were eating out. Since we normally already cook a lot at home, it's not really worth it for us to continue to use HelloFresh. But if you're someone who's been eating out a lot and you just really want to learn how to cook and get in the habit of cooking at home, I would definitely recommend it to you. One thing I didn't like about using HelloFresh is the amount of packaging they come in. I don't know how you can avoid that with all these ingredients, but that's something that you should keep in mind. Also, they do package like some ingredients that have to be refrigerated in between ice and then there were some like condiments that also need to be refrigerated but they were packed in the paper bags so they were easily overlooked so that's something to watch out for when you do order HelloFresh hopefully you find this video to be helpful and if you do have a promo code sitting there waiting for you I would definitely recommend that you try it with the promo code it's definitely worth it and it will be a really fun activity to do with the family. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!